Oh, I need to open next stream. Yes, welcome, ladies and germs. Welcome to part eight of Tower of the Mad Lich. Woo! Yeah, you say yeah, ladies and germs. Woo. Ladies and germs. Yeah. What? Oh, you never heard that? Shut up. <laughs> Sorry. Not open next stream. <laughs> hey, Jason, good to see you. But welcome, and we are continuing our part eight of D and D here on the stream, and specifically on my homebrew called Tower of the Mad Lich, which is based off the Rolex Tower. And yeah, that's about it. But it actually has nothing to do with the adventure itself from Adventures League. Because that's like a that's like a single one shot session for like level thirteen people. But yeah. But that's what's going on so far. Unreal. Let's jump right into it. What happened Hi, last week? Okay, that was confusing. I forgot to turn uh, down the volume. Oh. <laughs> so last week we uh we yeah, the absolute were on a ship on the way a bunch of people. with a spider named Matt too. We, <laughs> we terrified them. I'm we terrorized sleeping. people. Harry fell into a coma for a no coma. reason and just yes. slept the entire session. I was tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Matt, fireballs. Fireballs are exhausting. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we blew up a ship. We rescued a bunch of people from the ship that we blew up after threatening them. And now they're all captives on our ship while we are flying back to the home base. Wait, so more things break when I'm not there? Yeah, weirdly. <laughs> hmm. 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 Yeah, indeed, that's a quick synopsis of what happened last week. So you're currently flying back on the ship. Uh, if you would like, we can just say you get to the station, because it is going to be eventful. They're not going to try to resist or break out or anything, because they're on a ship. Base. They're powerless. I would like a quick chat with Ada before we get back to wherever it is we're going. Uh, we are... We are... I think Ada's still a spider, no? Well, yeah, but I've, I I figure that when you get on the ship, you're gonna not be a spider anymore at some point, because it doesn't it your wild shape doesn't last like indefinitely. Yeah, okay. it only lasts two hours. Uh, the journey back about like six, three. Ish. I remember correctly from last last time. That's three hours. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ada. Uh, yes. Yes, dear. I very much appreciate it, uh, being included, and I wouldn't have been included in, in that, uh, whole adventure that we just went on if you hadn't so kindly taken me up on your, uh, back. Granted, we got off to a bit of a rocky start. When don't we? Well, yeah, we live and we learn. Yeah. I'm old, but there's still a lot of things that I don't know. <laughs> but we we figured it out. And I'm sorry that I got crotchety, but I, I th I've hurt my back a little bit. I, I didn't need five minutes just to, you know, sit. <laughs> but but uh, I think you did a very good job. So did, so did you, Apollo. I uh, will walk over to Harry and, like, kick him. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up! It's not enough for you to be asleep! No. Oh, can't believe you slept minutes. through the whole thing. You know what you just missed Harry, out on, up. Harry? Five more Fireballing. minutes. Fireballing a ship. You really up. did. I'm what? 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 You you missed out on fireball. Excuse me? Oh, you missed you missed your opportunity to fireball a yeah. shit. You didn't think to wake me? What not for lack of trying, you lazy scrot. Wow. <laughs> oh, you know what? Yeah. Maybe I'll just do it again. That's just respect. <laughs> Okay, now we can be at the now we can be at the thing. <laughs> so after about three hours of banter, stares, nervous people in your cargo hold, you make it back to your station intact and alive. 
Who, uh, I, who is driving the ship? Apollo. Apollo is. I, I'm gonna need a vehicle handling Apollo. check. Let's see how well you dock this. Who are these people? Can I kill them? That's a solid. That's the sound of a gun. There. <laughs> a solid one. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, yeah. So. An entrance I think I'm okay, style. guys. It's all right. <laughs> So as you um you think it's a great idea, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to hand attempt to handbrake turn this thing into uh, into the docking port. However, you forgot the handbrakes don't exist on ships. So as you turn, you just side swipe the side of this with the back of it, rendering the hole uh, like a just a large hole in the part of it and damage the engine, rendering the ship oh, damaged. No. Oh, but you do manage much. to dock. It makes a lot of noise, and there's a lot of concern. You see people through the portholes uh, begin coming this way. Hey, look, I didn't do anything. Not now, Harry. <laughs> Not now. Hey, you have to give credit where credit's due. Harry didn't cause this one. He also just woke up. Oh, how I missed you guys. Oh, well, we missed you too. Hey, next, could I roll perception to see if I see any suspicious individuals who might be scouting out us? Uh, you don't have to, because you do see one yourself. I'm That's not scouting us out. No, but you see a suspicious individual being you. Uh, but yeah, but you you can't, you can make up people, you can't... Wait a second. Quite, you can't see them actively, like, you see people moving through, to and throw through portals, I think. Yeah, anyway, yeah, so. Everything's fine. Oh, fine. We made it. Yeah, you see the um the do the docking kind of like door and clamps damaged by your um stunt uh, as you attempted to latch onto it at high speeds. It's, it's technically usable, you think? Uh. Where? Were our passengers uh, still on the top of the ship, so there's no like sneaking them into port with us? I believe you said you there's destroyed no them in the bottom of the ship. There's no sneaking into port after that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we did say the bottom of the ship last week. Top. We said the top really of the good? ship last week because the bottom of the ship is where the engine is. Very well then. Let's see. Uh, by the way, let's see how many of them get thrown overboard by this. Oh, two of them. Oh. Two of the passengers get thrown overboard into space during this escapade. Uh, I and asphyxiate. I am going okay. to. Oh no. Because <laughs> they are currently tied up. <laughs> uh, could I go to uh, the tailor and say that uh, the job is done? What are you doing with all the people on your ship? Uh, I'll just leave that to the rest of the crew because I don't know what they want to do with them. Can Very I use well, to try and get them in somehow? We'll get to you later. Hey. Alright, so what are y'all doing with these people? As you see, I have people coming to the ring, prying the door open. And people with toolboxes and other tools and such. Uh, you see kind of um, a burly a male tiefling. And what's exactly happened here? Oh, As he's still just getting the door mostly open. <laughs> yeah, premature landing. Oh dear. The, those those two that flew out, right? Yes. Is it possible to use mold earth to save them? Uh, yes, if there was Earth. However, there is no Earth anywhere in sight, as you are in yeah, but... on a planet currently. You're in space. You are uh, in space. So. Otherwise, yes, that'd be a great idea. Damn it. <laughs> it's okay. Good idea. Just bad location. I think maybe... <laughs> Ada's gonna kind of... tell all the passengers to just casually, like, walk off, don't scream, don't don't make a scene, just kind don't of... Don't say we murdered people. Yeah, or... just... Play right. like, cool, we didn't guys. Murder anyone. Play cool. Yeah, play cool. <laughs> they, uh, they don't put up a fight. They just yeah, casually yeah. walk up. They still look scared. And you can tell some of the people definitely notice this, but they don't make a sound. They don't say anything. They just... They briskly That's walk off the ship. The, it's probably because the ship just, you know, landed us over backwards. Definitely could be perceived as that, which may have worked in your favor. 
Are they far away? Uh, they are. All right, we'll say it takes about a minute for them just to unboard and they leave. Uh, you see several of the several other people stick around. They start trying to fix things. Get they're trying to fix the the docking ring in the door and all the hatches and stuff that you slightly crash into. I think maybe we should kind of get our, ourselves out of here. What do you think, Apollo and Jocelyn? Maybe not be at the scene of the crime. Real quick, do the ships have keys by chance to start these things? They do not have keys. No. Okay. Just so that I can't tell someone around person, like, yeah, this is yours now. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. That's a good idea. We should. Did you we see should... that? <laughs> oh Why my god. Right? Oh. How did that happen? <laughs> what happens when I use mending on the ship? Unreal. It probably wouldn't work with the amount of damage. Can I presume something will get mended back together. Yeah, but you can only, uh, mending only works on a small section. Not it would like... take That's a long time something. to mend this <laughs> with the me spell mending. It's gonna require a bit more than that. Well, if you can't mend it, um, just guys, break it more. Fire bullet. Yes. Guys, where at? The old where did, this, where did Yato go? <laughs> Later. Where where did Yato go? I don't know. I don't know. So as you say as, as you say <laughs> that, we come over to Yato as he just kind of slinks off when that happens as you're talking to the people and such. Did I misspell that? <laughs> Hold on. Uh yeah, and yeah, you I'm meet with off. the tailor. I think I'm misspelling quote or something. Oh wait, that's why I have one. Anyway, um, so you see him working on something in the uh, shop in the shop there. Am I dumb? Oh. Sorry, it was right the first time. But well, your butt might be off. I don't know. Oh, my thumb. It's quote add and then that. Okay, eventually. <laughs> eventually. Hold well, on, let me try it. We're getting there. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. Stand by. It don't What's work, happening? Captain. All right, hold up. Let We're trying to add a quote. Let me try right. like this. Yeah, are, are we all dumb? Can we not none of us spell the word quote or something? Hold on. Let me look at look this up real quick. <laughs> I think it's right. Technical difficulties. Do 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 do. I mean, your next spot isn't in the thing. Oh, is it not connected? Oh, it disconnected for some reason. Because oh, okay. Isn't it meant to be stream elements, or is it meant to be the bot? It's my bot. It's the next bot. One hundred. It's a stream custom chat bot. Okay. So just just stand by. Beep. What was that then? Oh. I have to authorize it. There we go. Now it's reconnected. All right. Sorry about that. Oh, anyway, yeah. So you, you see you know what they say. If it ain't broke, you fix it anyway. So yeah, Phil, you see him just kind of mending to something. Well, what do you do? You break it. All right, that's you. Uh, hello. I say to Taylor. I don't remember his name. Ah, ah, oh, good evening. Welcome back. I take it the um request is dealt with. You shall not see that vessel arriving. And the cargo. Cargo destroyed. Ooh, everyone, you say. Pardon? Every one of them? Every single cargo piece. Hmm. And whatever was on the ship. I may have a roll insight because the way you word that is kind of sus. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. 
Uh, go ahead and roll deception against that. Oh, what is my deception stat? He is wisdom. Oh, like based off charisma, not wisdom. Oh, charisma. charisma. Fifteen. Fifteen. He rolled a fourteen. The eyes you wear. Oh. But he believes you. Well, very well, I suppose. I won't be hearing from them. That is our arrangement. Anyway, I have a wonderful pair of shoes for you. Here you are. He hands you a shoe box. As per your argument, you are rewarded with these. Well, if you do need a suit or anything, please let me know. I'll be happy to tailor when you tailor you one up your specification. He smiles. Anyway, let's get moving. Before people ask questions. I am strongly debating on stabbing this dude right now. <laughs> well, do it. A do it. Of shoes. Okay, I, I don't want to make a scene right now, so I'll head back. Yeah. I mean, they feel like there must be a, like some heavy duty boots or something. There's a lot of weight to it. So. Maybe they're really good shoes. Could I open the box and have a look inside? If you want to do that here, sure. Uh, I'll look at that outside the shop. All right. So you walk out of the shop, go around a little bit of corner, and then you peel open the box. You see that there is, in fact, two leather boots. Uh, quite thin, but you know, you catch something else. It appears to be like a, a like a bag of some sort in the in the boots themselves. Uh, could I open the bag slightly and have a peek inside? It feel, appears to be filled with coins. From your peek, you do not know how many. Okay, I'm very satisfied of not stabbing that dude. Alright. Uh, okay, I go back to the others. Very well. Alright. So, you go back to the others. So, you all, after, once you ask, where's Yato? You see Yato walking up to you with a shoebox. <laughs> with a very bright smile on my face. Hey guys, look what I ordered myself. What is it? Some yeah, brand new shoes. Yeah, I got some new... What, what do they do? I got some new shoes. Why'd you get some new shoes? I thought we needed parts for the ship. Alright, I bought the parts for the ship. Yeah, the parts. What are you about doing, the Yato? What do you mean? What do you mean? Calm down. What am I doing wrong? I'm not doing wrong anything wrong. What? Hey! <laughs> uh, Careful there. <laughs> uh, I I show the shoes. Look at my brand new shoes. They're quite nice. You so they're like shoes from. They're like there's two belts around like the ankle part of it, the leather, and it's kind of like a white leather there. And then the bottom, you see, it's kind of a a similar kind of gray leather with another belt buckle there, as well as a like gray toe cover. And the bottom appears to be kind of like a metal ring with a rubber rubber leather on the bottom. And, um, hey, Jocelyn, you oh, want to make an Arcana check? Nice. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah, I do. <laughs> um, yes. yes! When you work it like that, of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Arcana. I rolled a Nats 20, which I know doesn't mean anything, but that would put me in a 22. Well, that bodes well for the rest of the game. You feel like you know all things 20. magical. You look at these boots and you're like... Man, I really don't know what they are. But anyway. Uh, wait, what? However, after a what? few seconds, it suddenly remember. <laughs> oh, right. These are definitely magical. You've seen these before. They're an uncommon magic item. Recall them. They're the boots of stringing and spriding. Spriding and stringing. No, striding and springing. That's what they were. Now you remember. Is it like an increase to your speed? Something like, you can't quite recall their function. You just know what they are. How about over to them, huh. pick them up, give an old, uh, no, no, give no. them the old, no, hold on. Pick my shoes, up. my brand new <laughs> shoes with my money inside them. You pick up the one with the bag of money, it's, it feels very hefty. A lot heavier oh, than I was going to say, it's, I was going to say, I'm going to like, like start twisting and turning it. If the bag of money falls out of it, I'm just going to give them a look. Boonk. 
You know when you yeah. When you just uh, be careful your head, with that you shoe. Look, you you look down at the ground at the thing that just fell. Look back oh. up with a raised eyebrow at uh, at Yato and be like, these are some awfully nice shoes. Yeah. Can I have my shoes back, please? I would like to wear them. They look very nice and snazzy. Here is our uh, payment for the job. I hold up the bag and then I put sure. it back into my inventory. I tell you what the boots do, but I feel like it's going to be a lot more fun if you just find out yourself. <laughs> Enjoy. Or do you not remember what? Okay, fine. Oh no, I, put I remember. On the shoes. But like, you're a. <laughs> you put on the shoes. You feel <laughs> like funny. you need to attune to them before they're functional. Uh, how much? Uh, I would also like to use my time to attune and count how much money was in the bag. It will take an hour okay. to do those things. So, what do you all want to do for an hour? You are on the station currently. Well, we need to count the money. So, uh, that's. I'll that's... count the money. The, that's the priority um, because we need to fix the ship. Yeah, I think somebody needs to make sure that Yato doesn't go slipping stuff. Uh... I I also have a ship core, so we can go to our ship and uh, measure that up to our ship and see if it fits. Yeah, while you're putting your shoes on, why don't you let Ada count the money? Uh, give the uh, give the core to. Apollo, so we can fit it, and we can all go back to the ship and see if we can have a nice hot drink or something, maybe. I've got some we'll tea count the money at, We'll count the money on the ship. That will be wonderful. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, so yeah, you do that. You go. Uh, Apollo, you uh, you're going to do the thing with the thing? Yep. Very well. You do the thing with the thing. It does a thing. So you fill around with a bit. Faye has to help you out um, a fair bit there, as you're not quite super familiar with it. However, you do manage. You find out that it is actually the same size. It, it will fit. It will take about maybe two hours or so, and uh, and some time and finagling, but you will be able to fit it in there. Are right, you attuned to your boots? It does what I posted in uh, Howard Mavich. And you count a total of 151 gold coins. That's what you All found. Right. Um, which hour was what we already had? And for those in chat, this is what the boots do. Ah, uh, that's it. Uh, so I can I can jump like Michael Jordan, dunk in a basket. You don't now. you don't know this yet. You have no idea what those boots do, Yato. You've just put them on. I've already attuned to them. After it doesn't matter. Out. <laughs> no, it's time to go. You so the way I see attunement working... Often, in, in how my, often would you jump? In my games, when he's wearing the boots, he's I mean, poking, he's I will crawling, jump over it. you right now. You're doing things to find out what the properties are over the course of that. That's why it takes an hour. So including in that would be jumping. You're wearing shoes. I can't see a way you would not jump wearing boots. They are magical. So you, we'll, we'll say that you find it out. Um, in your below deck, though, we'll make this guy funny. So you jump and you find. <laughs> oh, what's that? Wow, why is the ceiling so close? Boom! <laughs> Just a boom, coconut noise, and you hit your head upon the ceiling. You start to figure okay, out what these Okay, let me reenact it with my desk. Let me reenact it with my desk. Yeah, about. <laughs> a little more coconut but yeah, you get the idea. Ow. You take a one point of cinematic <laughs> damage. Keep it down back there. I'll take it. It's funny damage. Take one funny damage, yes. Concentration <laughs> check for Apollo to not hit his head off the top of the engine. <laughs> <laughs> if you want. I was joking. <laughs> All right. But uh, uh, as you are putting this engine in, uh, 151 coins in total. Uh, Apollo, as you're helping, uh, face cat helping you put this uh, back together, I do need you to make me a, it would be a tinkering tools check using intelligence. Uh, however, you do have the help action as face helping. 
Uh, what? A tinkering tools check. If you're after proficiency in those tools, you may use it. If not, it's going to be a straight intelligence check. And you have the help action, meaning you get to roll with advantage. Okay. I don't think I have Tinker's tools. I do not. That's all right. So all just right. roll with event. Um, roll with advantage intelligence check. Can he big brain it? Let's see. Nineteen. Yeah. Yeah, with the help of Faye, you a a manage to effortlessly take out the old core and reinstall the new one. You see the ship kind of spring to life as new power surges into it. The ship is now fully operational. Hell! Nice, and we didn't even have to spend a dime. Let's go! My my ability of healing stuff came into play. Bag again? Pardon? Uh, right now I have, uh, I'll be open with you guys, right now I have 169 gold coin, gold pieces. Okay, well. I'll be told you always carry the gold piece. I, f I feel like we need to have a conversation. I got the contract for us. Excuse me, but I feel like we need to have a conversation about who holds the party gold, considering that at the moment... Your sticky fingers, uh, nobody really trusts you <laughs> at the moment. Yeah, so um, I'm just going to be perfectly frank with you. Nobody trusts you as far as they can throw you, and you might be small, but I've got really short arms. I'm pretty weak. So I feel like maybe you holding the party gold is not a good idea. I or we split it up. I agree. Sorry. I should hold on to it. <laughs> uh, how about no, we like split it up by five, so we all get 30 gold pieces each? Oh, well, then give mine to Ada to hold on to, because I'm going I'm to go over to Ada and, like, I was going to say, like, squeeze a little cheek and stuff, but... Give her a little, give her a little pat somewhere because she's much taller than I am. <laughs> you, 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 you have to stay on the highest and try to reach her, and you can't quite. So you just kind of give her a pat on the stomach there. So what you're saying is you patted my booty, and I was like, oh. Whoa. Let's keep this game PG <laughs> oh. here, folks. That's exactly what I'm doing. Oh just, dear. Oh, just, just Ada here. Can uh, oh, sorry, dear. Uh, oh, around the other side. Uh, uh, <laughs> We'll, we'll give mine to Ada Everybody. to hold on to, if that is acceptable, with, if that's okay with you, Ada. It works for me. Lovely, thank Everybody you. apart Very from much. Jocelyn and Ada gets 30 gold, Ada gets 60 gold. I divvy up the money. Well, to add that to you all the inventory. One day, Yato, we will trust you, but until... You start uh, acting like you belong to this group and stop wandering off on your own, I feel. That you know, I pulled all, all of you it, together buddy. to do this tower. Well, yeah, but you keep, you wandered off a couple times. You're like, you know, when you went I to mean, go and get I your mean, I can't be attracted to The second we crashed, you were gone. I can't be attracting attention to myself while completing a contract with uh, oh, one of the people. They're flashy as all get out. They're very flashy. Actually, they are, but but they're, if... they're very flashy, yeah. I agree. Wait, what if we I can all jump went... like Michael Jordan now. What if we all went there and he would if the whoever you went to talk to gave us all a new pair of shoes? Oh, yeah. oh, no, but... You wouldn't have, because I was the only one that was there whenever the contract was stated. But we could have all gone as a party. Yasso? Yes. And you didn't stop to see if anybody was okay when we got off the ship. You just left. You, you could all have looked been fine. Off. What if we would have died? 
Listen, if you would have, if anyone would have gotten her, I would have stayed around. But you were all fine. The only ones who got hurt are the civilians. I don't trust this guy. Well, Well, but I, but for now, uh, hello, Faye, it's very nice to meet you. I'm Jocelyn, Hi. I hope you like dogs. This is Hyacinth. Please, can we just get off this rickety ship? I mean, you can get off any time. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm in a bad mood. I'm in a rather awful mood. Is there a toilet anywhere on this ship? Uh, there is a bucket down below. Well, that'll, I've peed in worse. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, um, well, if you do wish to depart, we now have the power to. We can, if you so wish to, just set a destination and we shall sail. Uh, I would also like to have a look around, uh, to like any mechanical places. Any mechanical places? Before we no, go. we're leaving. Like, we're leaving. Shops. I want to sell we're, these assorted engine parts. We're, we're, it's too late. We went to the ship and decided that we were leaving. We've already done this. Yeah, you have to do it at the next station. That's okay. Maybe there'll be a use for this in the future. Hmm, maybe. You'll have to see. All right, so we'll say y'all disembark between the ship with all y'all y'all y'all's helping hands, and you are now ready to explore the plane. Where are y'all heading to next? We. Where is the map? The next closest is station. in the Discord as well as on stream. Oh, it's in the pinned messages. Yes. So... It's, uh, it's the place that we need to go to get off this gosh darn level. Burger station. Right yep. straight there. I'll be the big old station right there. All right. You're right there. That's going to take you, let's see, about nine days. About 12 days journey. Under normal engine power, a max engine power will take you about eight days. Can we? Uh, no. So how many how many points can we divvy up between our engine again? You have a total of da, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Uh, sorry, yes, yeah, six points of energy. But however, if you remove um, all power from one system, it will deactivate said system. So currently they are all in shields. Could we take two from shields and put it into speed? That is, is up to y'all. Up for that? Yes. We're gonna yeah. be able to fast to be hit. So let's just leave space. How do we get more more things? More energy? Yeah. There are upgrades. Uh, form, however, upgrades, you have not found people, where upgrades. they are. Although they have, it has been mentioned where they are. Wait, has it? It has. Yeah, you said each, each, each of the stations have each a different upgrade. Yeah. And Do you guys want to stop the station? Oh, so maybe we should just go to the next station then. Irritatingly. That one, I mean, is even further. That one's the... What is it? Car station. Ramal? Car station is close, that's a little a, bit closer, closer than progress. Mm -hmm. Wait, have we already got the upgrade? From that station? You got repairs. Yeah. Because we, we, we saw, I mean, broke. I have 110 in my uh, inventory. If we, oh, we did just leave. We already left. Never mind. <laughs> Turn it around. <laughs> you did just I leave. Turn this ship around. <laughs> Do it, I dare you. I've got stuff to sell. I want to follow. Rob. Well, what are y'all doing? Y'all are the captains of the ship. This, uh, the car station. Go back, Captain. Go back. <laughs> I vote to go to the car station. What? So, did, next, may I ask you out of, out of character? Of course. Did you see that um, we do have to get a upgrade from every single station to be able to pass this level? No. Uh, you recall that they said you do you stand a decent chance of fighting, however, it's still it's risky uh, without upgrades, but it's doable. As long as you're smart about it, that is. 
Mm. We can go get the cars upgrade and then we could go fight the station, the progress station. Well, we're on cars, so we could go to we could go to Ishramal, get whatever updates there. So go to Jokal, then to Chiazzo, and then to Progress, like a big circle. Chiazzo doesn't have a station. That's correct. And you are currently on Jokal, actually. Oh, we're on Jokal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, then we could go to Ishramal. Yeah, straight to that one. Okay. And then to cars, and then to progress. We need weapon upgrades. Hey, I would someone like to make a history check? I can take a history check. Go for it, make a history check. What? Did I just get called a okay. cultist? A cult? Hold on. Hold I got on. a 15. 15? Alright. So what did you get? And I have proficiency. Let's me... So is that you roll the 15 plus the proficiency, or is that 15 No, 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 I just got a 15 with proficiency. Okay. I'm getting my dice. Mooncake, go away! <laughs> uh, dice. So nice. Well, I'm trying to eat a thing, and he's like, One trying to crawl over me, which is tell. really unhelpful. I got 23. 23! Alright, Phil and it. I almost called you Angela for some reason. Uh, Phil and Jocelyn, both of you recall. Uh, it wasn't that so much that the upgrades were spread across each station. It's that each station was different and had different, essentially, factors. Goku was more of a mining station. And there's some several higher people here as well. Uh, Ishmael, you were... Sorry. Yeah, that was it. Ishmael is more of, like, a biological one. They do most of the agriculture on the planet and ship things to and fro. And Cars was the one with the upgrades and ship maintenance and a shipyard. But that's what you were calling. Is it... Ishrama is Ishramal rich? Are people there rich? Are farmers rich? No. Some are. Most are. Wait, what did you say about cars? Cars are things you drive on the road. Yep. yep. Cars is the uh, shipyard station that you have a shipyard as well as the upgrades there. It's one of the it's the large station too, not counting progress stations. We should go to cars. That's where most of the upgrades are. Okay, well, let's go. Let's, well, let's go then. Very well. All right, again, it will take you nine days to get the cars. Car station on your current uh, engine power. It will take you seven and a half uh, under max. Um, I still say not max speed. Full speed ahead. Maybe not. Nah, I feel like the speed that we're at should be fine because then if anything happens, we can. We'll have momentum to continue going quickly if we need to uh, take any of the points from the engines to stick them back into the shields or whatever that other word is that I can't read because my eyesight sucks. Okay. Oh, weapons. That. Weapons. All right, very well. So. You do that. So you set off for car station about a nine day journey for you. You're prepared. Each day brings something new. I need someone to roll me a D. D what? D. Where's my table? Just a D? A D8. A D8. Who wants to take it? I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I heard I got Ada. Eight. Oh, okay. You got oh. an eight? You need a D8? Yeah, did. you uh, said eight, it, Phil, right? Phil's just rolled. Okay. Oh, no, he's laughing. Maybe. Uh, Phil, you said oh, eight. Oh, no. No. Did you say eight? I, I couldn't quite hear you. I think you said eight. I mean, uh, he could have said not eight. I mean, what did Ada say? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ada didn't roll because Phil did it first. Why did you roll? <laughs> I got an eight. You got an eight. Okay. <laughs> don't oh. DM. Don't laugh at me. So, Space pirates. Day two arrives. You find yourself near a small cluster of asteroids. See things here and there. Some oh. larger, some smaller. 
Um, yeah, you can easily uh, go around it. However, the feel something feels a bit unnatural about one of the larger ones. Can't quite place your finger. I would like to investigate. Make an investigation check. Investigation. And how are you investigating this? I am. I am looking at it and like you know <laughs> feeling my 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 you know my heart my stomach you squint really you hard squint at that? it okay got it i'm gonna squint at it <laughs> you squint at it really hard roll investigation <laughs> beautiful i got a 21 well, I'm, oh damn! That means you won the prize, which is death. Phil oh, spontaneously oh. combusts. No, I'm kidding. Yay! Uh, <laughs> so you yes, look sweet, carefully, sweet. squinting as hard as you can. Did I have another aneurysm? You did not. You think you did, but no. You look. Okay. You stare at this big old asteroid. You see almost. You think for a second. You see part of it move. Almost yes. as the asteroid itself is. A creature. Yes. That's what Guys, you think. Guys, I think that asteroid's alive. I think it's a monster. What do you mean it's alive? Um, alive? What? What exactly does Phil see, or uh, just Harry see? What, he sees the parts of the a part of the asteroid move, like the rocky exterior. The asteroid moved. How do you mean I'm not talking moved? about like you know like this. I mean like. The surface of it moved incongruently with the rest of it. It's alive! I'm gonna it need a little bit more of a uh, tree. Can I, can I try to talk to it? Uh, I'm assuming you're not close. Do we want to talk to it, guys? <laughs> oh, wait. Hey, hey. Sorry, just, just to be that guy. Next, I can totally swap out my spells, can't I? Uh, Warlock, you because cannot. Warlock. Oh, okay. Not until you just level checking. up. Uh, when you level up, you're allowed to swap one spell out. Okay, just checking. And you get one when you level up as well, usually. So, and you get all your stuff back in a short rest as well, uh, unless it specifies uh, specifies other otherwise with um, abilities, such as your pack ability and such. What does comprehend languages do? Oh, exactly what it sounds like. It you allows can... you to breathe. Can it understand what languages. I say then? Yes. No. It allows you to understand uh, languages that are spoken. Uh, you so cannot speak to it. It can't speak to you, though. No. It, it, it's a rock. Also, one second. Start a one, two minute timer. Well, so we think it is. Oh, well. I did not uh, want to start a 12 minute can timer. We just, can we just steer our Start a three minute it? timer. Yeah. Well, that would solve problems, I feel. But I want to touch it. Harry, we're in the middle of literally nowhere. I don't fancy getting into a fight with a giant no. rock. Correction, no. you are next to the middle of an asteroid field. <clears throat> Mr. We're next to an asteroid field. Yes, well, we should slow down a little bit because asteroids, whatever they are, big floating rocks, uh, and maybe, maybe do Rock bad. The shields more. Well, I was gonna say, let's take another point out of the engine and put it into the shields. <laughs> Can we well, shoot it? You wish to slow down and increase your shields? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, you do that. You feel the shield strengthen and grow more resilient. Uh, you, but you now are moving a bit slower by about a thousand meters, about two thousand meters a second, compared to the three thousand you were traveling at prior. And you continue Let's to sail fast. Uh, Dodge your weaving. Who is steering the ship? I am. All right, make a vehicle handling check. Okay. Fifteen. Fifteen. All right, you manage to steer through it, only slightly grazing a few asteroids here and there, but nothing that your shield can't handle. Uh, however, you see that big asteroid that looked a little bit unnatural at the distance, coming close. 
guys. Uh, what? Hmm. The asteroid's okay. getting closer. Oh, Which is interesting, considering it's lateral to you. Maybe we should talk to it. Maybe, Maybe it's friendly. Maybe we should just How about I fire leave. a cannon at it? I think we should wait and see what happens. I don't think we should make the giant rock angry. I think we should just leave personally. Can I, can I, can I like try to recall if I know any, if I've seen in any books about a giant rock creature? In space. <laughs> You may yeah. certainly attempt to roll history. It's very unlikely. Okay. Like we say, the DC is near impulse. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. I got a twenty-two. Unfortunately, you cannot recall anything about space rock creatures. Damn it! Like I said, the DC was very high. It was twenty-five. Damn it! They did. Yeah, it could just fix that. You're almost out of the field, though. Just a few thousand, a few more thousand meters to go. However, so as you're currently steering it, you see the rock to your la to off your starboard side or right side of the ship. It begins to crack and break apart, almost like um like from the inside. However, you notice it's not cracking and breaking apart like normal. It is instead unfolding. Revealing a large clockwork creature, almost like a leviathan of the ocean. However, made of uh, brass and, and machine, with an exterior of rock, uh, begin to unfold from its ball, and stands a tall, stands yes, bigger Phil. than you, about uh, the yes, size Harry. of the station. You I notice the sun begins to be blocked out as he moves over What's to the What's the outside. problem, Harry? Big clockwork monster? You see Harry point to it. This uh, creature, the si many times si the size of your ship. Big, what over the there. Fuck? Ah! What do what you the do? Fuck is that? I think we can see I... what's happening. You are about yeah. to leave the asteroid field, however. All, and... all engines forward. Um, uh, let me get a picture of it. So, oh, what kind of points do we have? Hold on. What kind of points do we have in the engines and like on the ship? Well, we're putting all of them in the engines now because could we, let's um, go. Could, hold on. Could we put the weapons one into shields? If you so wish to, it would de deactivate your weapons, but you could. Yes. All right. Was that what you would like to what do? If, that? What if it yeah. gets what if it gets really close to us, though? That would we be unfortunate. Speed. Speed. We have, we have more warlocks and wizards. And... We, we have ranged weapons uh. carry this fireball, so put the weapons into shield, into speed. Very well. So, you see this great monstrosity of a clockwork contraption, like almost like centipede shape with a bat with its back of asteroids. It stands. You see it move. Kind of like a, almost like a snake, slithering through the space, coming towards you. As you put the power in the end, you start blasting through, you're almost making out of the asteroid field before it attempts to hit you once. All right. And that does hit. It hits the so ship. So close to us. Sir, sir. This thing sir? is like the sir? size of like two Empire State buildings. Please, sir. Sir, leave us alone. What the fuck? <laughs> this thing is massive. Let me just see what his damage is real quick. Hold on. Sir, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Huh. Hey, okay. Harry. Fireball it. You want to fireball that? Fireball it in space because there's no oxygen. Huh. You don't know that. still hurt the thing. <laughs> We know. All right, so it hits we, test, the ship we tested that theory already. Rams into it, <laughs> knocking your ship further out of the asteroid shield. Several rocks dot into it, dealing an additional 20 points of damage to your shield. All right, and Magic however, fire, it hits yes, the, it hit the ship for. One, uh, like 130 stupid. points of bludgeoning damage as it rams into your shields. The shields, however, hold against it. It is not looking particularly great, but they they hold firm, reducing the damage by ten as well, I believe. 
Can I try so to recall? How much health does my ship now have? what it is? The shields, if you look at the PDF I sent you, I'll have to um, go over to it real quick. I believe the shields have about 1,000 HP. Oh, okay, look at that. And your ship has about 500 HP. And it just did 130 oh, damage in one hit. 130 to the shield. Hey, Ooh, stop. Hear me. <laughs> Help. I, can I uh, get and uh, cast Ray of Enfeeblement on the big giant snake thing? I'm literally useless. Yes, go ahead. Uh, does he need to make a save for that? Make a ranged spell attack against the target. So right. nope, it's just, just me. Go for it. Roll. <sighs> I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> well, choice is yours. Uh, okay. Oh gosh. Oh, this is probably gonna be terrible. Uh, plus. You could do six. it, Jocelyn. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, so oh. that was a twelve on the die. So you? Oh, uh, wait, it's an eighteen. So like, that's. Mm. You rolled an eighteen, or it is an eighteen. Oh, eighteen total. All right, and what does it do to the creature? Uh, blah blah blah. It only deals half damage with. Uh, it says weapon attacks that use strength, but like if it's using its teeth and stuff, that's a weapon maybe? I don't know, that's I'm it. just, I'm praying to Ugas that it works. So yeah, it hits it. You hit it, you enfeeble it, you see your magic pulsate through the monstrosity of the thing towering, like the above of like, the size of a city. However, it, it kind of stops from, it stops chasing, you see it kind of slither up. Pointing its head, you see it's two feet long, with hundreds of large teeth, the size of giants. Inside, you see what looks like to be a red glow from the inside, begin to pulsate. And it goes right. Yes, the ship is going further and further. It's almost out of the it's out of the after field. You see the creature still in the after field. Down! Aim down! I tell you taking evasive action. Yes. All right, that's gonna give a disadvantage. So let's see if it hits. I'm gonna cast the chromatic orb. Okay. What does that do? Harry, make it so, sad. Lightning. Thank, thankfully <laughs> for you, it did have disadvantage. Um, because so I rolled a 13 and a 20. It has plus 10 to hit, so that's a 23. Uh, I would, but I would do it in the mouth for a It would have been crit. Pardon? <laughs> I do it in the mouth for a truth flavor. <laughs> Harry, make it so. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Make a weapon attack. Okay, what, wait, what? I'm what? gonna use a dice roller for this. What do I, what do I roll? A weapon, uh, your spell weapon attack. Spell weapon attack. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is... Wait, what? Spell weapon attack. So like remember when we put your spell modifier? Yeah. Uh, it's that. Um, so the spell save DC is to the right of that. It should be your intelligence plus your proficiency. Yeah. Uh, what'd you get? Yeah, but what am I rolling? Yeah, you're rolling that. D20. So a d20 plus that. Oh, okay. So spell attack bonus, that would be 16. All right, 16. Unfortunately, you cast your chromatic orb, it just bounces off its metallic teeth. Oh, oh there we go, Arco, we Real quick, I have to do math. Uh, let's bring it to... Wait, hold on. All right, so yeah, as you attempt to do it, just, you find it's no, it's ill effective against the creature. However, this beam of this uh, this red light just pours into the ship's shield. Oh, you see it just completely light up red as it propels your ship further away away from it conveniently. 
However, it almost breaks through it as it deals 208 damage to the ship's shields. Oh no. However, it pushes you far enough away where you see the creature. It just kind of almost lets out a roar, however, you can't hear it as it begins to slink back into the asteroid field, waiting for the next prey. Bite, stinky! Your shields are at 683 HP left. However, they will recharge by the end of the day. I the shields. Oh. They, at the end of the day, well, they will regen. It just takes a little bit of time. Catch you later, Snakey. But yes, you have survived the Leviathan. Maybe we could get away for, as far away from that as possible. Yeah. Max power is still in the engines. You have two, so you have two points in shields, four in the engines. Get I like that. the hell out of here. Run! Uh, yeah, you just continue to book it. Uh, if you keep this pace, you'll be at the station in five days, because you were in two days traveling. Yes. Alright, is that what y'all would like to do? Yes. Yes. Very well. So, you continue traveling, looking behind you, carefully avoiding any asteroids or asteroid fields. Uh, on day, on day, on day four, uh, one day before you get to the station, you do notice that there is a, or sorry, the two days, another two days pass, you see a ship in the distance. It doesn't appear to be heading your way, but it appears to be very similar to your, to yours. However, you can't make any details out. Besides that, it's mostly uneventful. Another two days pass. You go through several, several, uh, things of your rations and ship, thankfully you still have enough. And you arrive at the station. You see in the distance, it's much larger than Jokul Station, about twice the size. You see what looks like these, uh, like, big slits, like, for the size of ships in one of the areas. And a big sign that says Shipyard and Dock above it. During those two days, before we get to this thing, um... I would like to ask Harry if he could use, um, Harry, would you help me, uh, fix all of the broken stuff on the ship? Because I also yes. have mending. Uh, I will if, use mending. If, if we put our heads together. Wait, the ship isn't damaged though. The ship is fine. We just took like 300 damage. There's gonna be some cracks and stuff. That's all in, that's all in shields. Your the shields, shields are gonna reach uh, Yeah, but it's gonna have like jogged us at least a little bit. There's gotta be yeah. some. The fact that it was able to take a beam and push us, that means stuff got knocked around. Yeah. yeah. There is cinematic damage to the ship. Can we it, use mending on the us... shield? Go ahead and mend the ship. I mean, yeah. So the shields will regen. Um, at the end of every day, oh, they okay. will regen. Uh, yeah. Rest before then. Oh, obviously. What yeah, you have multiple long rests. rests. I don't so think we need to. Crash. Yeah, a couple cracks and like a little bits of splintering here and there. So nothing you can't fix with anything. But we gotta keep ourselves busy during the two days that we four days that we're gonna be doing nothing. That's a good point. Alright, let's do it. Ada, you can be growing uh you can be growing some plants out of the uh out of the tomatoes. Growing some more food. Yeah. Yeah, I, I need soil for that. I can create water, but I can't create soil. Damn it. <laughs> well, could, we've got some spare wood. Maybe we could m mulch it down to get some paper. Is there, yeah, any, are there, are there any asteroids <laughs> or small rocks? Well, uh, maybe a Paul could like punch well. it into little tiny pieces. Yeah! I could punch stuff into tiny pieces. We could. If we return to the asteroid field, we might be able to snatch an asteroid. Yeah, Shut up, Yato! <laughs> Definitely not do that. Wait, can we see his rock floating around? <laughs> yeah. uh, no, nothing that's directly in your way. You pass out of the asteroid field. A couple little bits of like golf ball size, you know, hit, up, hit and bounce off the shields. That's really about it. However, they are blocked by the shields to prevent them from crashing into the hole, causing massive damage. That's big. True. 
That's why you should do your shields among this task, otherwise uh, the asteroids will hit the hull. Indeed. Ah. Right. Could we, could we find something? Some papers or something? There, there will be some spare paper on your on your ship, as well as there's various foods you can make some compost out of. Uh, it's good food, but among this task. Like left, yeah, but leftovers and stuff. <laughs> yeah, leftovers. Yeah, you would have some compost. <laughs> well, there we go. Maybe we can. Me? It needs to be heated and compressed, like under great power. Great we're pressure. not making stones, Ada. We're making <laughs> dirt. Look, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna get a bunch of stuff and like chop the ever loving F out of it. <laughs> like potato masher style. <laughs> and be like, ta da! Fertilizer! You chopped them up. Used to use on they the are farm. chopped AF as foretold. Chopped AF. Mix it in uh, as some foretold. mulch. Like a little planter yep. for the tomatoes. <clears throat> And extract the seeds from the... I think I only had one tomato. Well, we had three in total, but if you're just having the seeds, you could have, like, all of the seeds if you're just going to make some more tomatoes. Yeah, you, you have, like, 50 tomato seeds. <laughs> all right, so, yeah, I'm going to clean up the tomato seeds and start planting those in my makeshift planters with the, the mulch that everybody just helped make up. All right, very well. Exciting! Work, work. You now have makeshift planters aboard your ship. I'm uh, assuming these are like small ones. Right? What was that? I'm assuming these are like smaller size. Yeah. Okay. Very well. Um, go ahead and make me a nature check. Let's see how many of the, of the seeds will survive. Oh no. That's a 15 plus 5. So 20. Yeah, you managed actually. All the seeds do your tender, loving care. Actually, will go to mature. You will have you will have about fifty or so tomato plants. Heck yeah! Oh, I would yes. like to watch Ada do the tomato plants. Ada's gonna get like super excited about that too. Like, super oh. duper excited. I'm doing a pretty good job of making these tomatoes. Oh, see. <laughs> Goodness. Hey. Even if you can't cook, at least you can grow the produce. Just get you a man that can cook. What about what about Apollo? Hey, eh? you two are awfully, uh, you know, friendly. <laughs> oh, people got it. <laughs> <laughs> True, I could technically use my plant growth and get them to mature a lot faster too. You could. Oh yeah, Druid Dr 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 it. All right, uh, I use plant growth then. Well, I... they grow to oh, maturity. With the tree. Uh, the... <laughs> yeah, if they grow mature. You now have dozens upon dozens of ripe tomatoes, fresh, freshly imbued with magic. Boom. Oh, uh, we're tomato everything. Keep our pot in here. Tomato, <laughs> tomato. Grossling, could you maybe help me make like a, a tomato stew, a tomato, tomato soup, salad. or something oh. like that? If we've got some other potatoes, I could make something pretty decent. We'll we'll find something to make. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and make. Uh, I don't know. Some salad stuffed, with tomatoes. Stuffed, yeah, that. Yo some key. stuffed tomatoes. Uh, as tomatoes a, as a, stuffed with tomatoes. To, to, yeah, we've got other food. <laughs> We've got other food. Tomatoes there is other food. You have enough provisions tomatoes. for a long while. Tomato stuff. Salted tomato. pork, uh, potatoes, things that keep well. Yeah. So we could do we could do some stuffed tomatoes. We can have uh, I don't know marinara sauce with some some stuff makeshift gnocchi. We could do up some a whole bunch of stuff we could do with with those foods. Didn't we get some other food from those passengers? I mean, I yeah, think... but then we kind of abandoned ship, so. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. No. Uh, Jocelyn, I need you to make we me a perception check while you're getting these degrees. Perception. We have a stowaway. Oh, do we have like power um, there? 
I got a 13 plus 4. 17. So as you're searching through, you find a silver bag with a graphic on the front tucked behind a thing. It's written in a language you do not know. Yeah. It's very small. It's only about that thick by this one. Yeah. Uh, it's like one inch thick or about five, about three centimeters. Use the spell that uh, allows thick, you to understand language. About six, about six inches thick. Or uh, I, wide and eight inches tall. The size of the dice bag? That makes sense. Look at that. But it's I like an aluminum, aluminum foil oh, bag. I can't hear. Next, can you stop talking? Yeah, Sorry. so it's like, a, like an aluminum bag, silver, and such. Alright, well, I will pick up the bag. Is there like it's a not... clasp to open it or something? You, you see a, like a, like a rip-off tab on the top? On the front of it, it looks like a man in space, like playing out of the backdrop, wearing some form of white suit. What kind of language is it, though? You don't know. I don't. I speak I use common, common and language to Harry. You, you're not even there yet. Only oh, Jocelyn what? knows about this. We're all busy with our own Exactly. Y'all are doing things. Calm, calm your titties. Like. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm gonna take the thing. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it in my pocket. Right. Um, I'm gonna take the foods that I need to the kitchen, and um, well, where Ada is because we're making food. Um, oh, I'll take it out. But like, oh, Ada, um, I found this peculiar little bag. Oh, what? What is it? What's in it? You know, I'll just kind of not want to open it, but see its little silvery shimmer. It, it says something that I can't read, so... Will I know it next? Do so you look at it? Are you looking at it much to your bewilderment? You have no idea what it says either. You've, no, you've never even seen it before. <laughs> Fantastic. Brilliant. Well, why don't we ask the wizard again? I, I tell you what, I'm going to start chopping these. Go and fetch Harry and we'll figure out what it is. Sounds good. Um, I'm gonna sit and look at it <laughs> for a bit. You sit and look you, at it. You the still front have the bag? That... I'm just gonna go get Harry, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the front so, has that picture and uh, some words and some language, and the back has uh, no picture, however, all, just all words on the back. But in a language you've never seen nor understand. Hey, Harry. Yeah. Harry, you done sleeping? Can, uh, can we get some help I've over here? I've never done sleeping. Well, could you be done for a moment so I could get some help? Uh, I suppose. Harry's I like everyone's your... teenage son here today. <laughs> <laughs> you please do your chores. I mean, come on. Okay. All right. <laughs> I suppose. We, we need some of your insight it? over here. So I'm going to, we're going to walk back to over where Jocelyn is right now. You, hey, you and Harry walk back over. All right. Jocelyn, he's here. Check the check this bag out, Harry. That's what a is, nice bag. Don't open it because we don't know what it is. What does this say? And I'm just point at the the writing. I don't know. What does it say? Can you what it it? Oh, right. Yes. Um, this is why we see. asked you here. <laughs> <laughs> you look at it. You don't know. You've never seen this language before, man. <laughs> it's not dragon, is it? No, it is not dragon. Dang it. <laughs> I use you know? comprehend languages. Let's you now comprehend see. it. So you hey, can, I can read it now. You read it, you think it says deadly explosive. It but says you, deadly explosive. But as you hold it, you realize, wait a second, you're holding it upside down. You flip it over. Oh. I'm reading it upside down. You flip so it over. So it say explosive deadly? You flip up the <laughs> eye, and now we see, oh, the words are more clear. It says astronaut ice cream, Neapolitan flavor. It's ice I cream. I mean, I mean, it's, it's, um, well, I it's nothing like important, important to you guys. <laughs> oh my God, did you just give us an MRA? I know, I gave you astronaut ice cream, which is vacuum sealed, flash frozen ice cream. It's actually delicious. I think I, mean, I might need to hold on to this. It's, it's dangerous and, uh, I need to take good care of this. <laughs> 
I'm going to snatch it back and be like, how many of this is dangerous? You are the last person that's going to be holding on to this. With your it, hot pants. Only useful for wizards. Oh, can I read it through? Because of the commotion. What? What, I what think at it? this point, yeah, you, everyone else would hear the commotion. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm literally just gonna down carry down. on. Uh, what, what is it, Harry? It's, it's, um, it's wizard lotion. <laughs> wizard it, lotion? I, well, I, yeah. I just said wizard you don't want to see no, it rubbed all over just... your body. <laughs> Well, can, I just, how, can I insight him? Because Please. you just said Ma it was dangerous. <laughs> Make it's it... dangerous for you guys. Make a deception check with disadvantage. <laughs> Me? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, my insight, oh gosh, is not wonderful. <laughs> you just have to beat what can I, I also got. Can I insight him? Uh, you just got there. You don't or really do know the context of what's insight. going on. Check I oh wait I need to roll twice. <laughs> Yay! I um um. Did you lowest. beat a I nine? Got, I got five. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Harry is full of crap and you know it. Great. Right. I'm uh, very old. <laughs> I've been lied to more times than I care to to count. And uh, you are it's very good at it. Cream. It's what? It's astronaut ice cream. What is an astronaut and what is ice cream? <laughs> it's delicious. It's, it's delicious. delicious. I shall. Is it? Do you know? Does anybody know I what do. an astronaut is? I mean, no, no one knows. No one would know what an astronaut is. Astronauts don't exist uh, in the source code. This is from another oh. dimension. Mm. Right. Isn't it like a god? That's awkward. Oh, wait, what's ice I, cream? I just say it's delicious because I heard ice cream. Is that... Do we know you what were, ice cream you is? You know ice cream is? Uh, it's more of a, but, so it's more of a big city thing, but you would have you would heard you would know what ice cream is as it's been around for some time and with the with magic and such, people can make it. Wait, so I know what, what it is? You would all know what yeah. ice cream is. Yeah. Ice cream in her travels. My grandfather wizard used to what? make ice cream. It was very delicious. Who, uh, who knows what an astronaut is? I don't know. I don't know that. It's dangerous. Apollo, is it not that, to eat it. Apollo said that it's a god. Is it not the creature that we came across in the asteroid field? Astro, asteroid. Kind of sounds familiar, right? Oh, maybe that was. Wait maybe, a so maybe this they is. Maybe this is food. That guy can make ice cream. We should go and see it. Yeah, but it doesn't feel particularly cold. We should go milk one Just of those things. It. Let's see. Can we maybe it... try opening it? Yeah. I mean, okay. Oh. I'm gonna try opening Anyone got it. Can opener? I'm even gonna roll for it because you know strength of minus one. I mean, it's just like a pole. Just. Oh, that's fine. It's it's cool. I I open the ice cream. I'm gonna hold it away from me and like. <laughs> you open. You open. It. <laughs> that's a really weird looking cow. <laughs> you open it and you see nothing comes out of it. Uh, you take a quick look and you see uh, like a white packaging in there with a. A small brick about twice the size of a gold coin. Uh, that half a, a quarter of it is black, a quarter of it's pink, and the other quarter of it's white. Or 33 and 33, 33. There's three quarters? So, so there's, there's, there's three a third. quarters? Where did, I, where I, think, did the I think what you'll be, I think what you're saying is there's a third. A third, yes. Yeah, it's Neapolitan sorry. ice cream. <laughs> yes, a third. 33% is those three colors, and it's like a lot. Uh, I'm going to hold up the brick and be like, um, Okay, well, it's it smells it's good, but it's not. It's ice cream. It's not cold and it's not melty, Yato. It can't be ice cream. It's ice cream. <laughs> did, I, did I touch it? Today we learned no. Yato had the food. I had um, something for food. <laughs> okay, I, I tell you what. I tell you what. Look. Just, I try to just, grab it with my mouth. No. <laughs> I'm a. No. I'm just gonna say she just pulls that away. Uh, I'm not gonna have anyone roll for that one. 
<laughs> right, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it up and be like, right, look. Not that that's even gonna make a difference because I'm short AF. Um, right, I, I tell you what, I will cut it into equal parts, and then we'll all have some. Wait, where's Faye? Faye is up in the crow's nest where she usually is, watching, thinking, and pondering. Let's Somebody... not bring her into this. Somebody go and ask Faye if she knows what an astronaut is. I'll, I'll go. S I'll go scuttle up to Faye to bring her down here. Quick, while he's gone. So you go get Faye after about thirty seconds. She comes down and joins y'all. And the ice cream is gone. Is it? <laughs> uh, Faye, do you know what? What was the word? Astronauts. Astronauts. Well, we found this thing and it says it's ice cream, but it's not cold. It's doesn't melt. It's, it looks like powder. Yes, I said I do. Uh, astronaut. I've, I've heard that word once before. A peculiar group of people. They came with what's it? crossbows, but they weren't crossbows. They fired things, but they didn't have to recharge. And they were weird. And they're made of metal. But they spoke a language, I can't recall it, but it looked just like that. They claim they're from some planet and they call this place space, but this is the Astral Sea. I tried to correct them, but uh, they were quite stubborn. One of them mentioned something about were astronauts. Were they shooting a ray gun? But you see the most peculiar people here. I'm, conv <laughs> I'm convinced they were I not from that. the Sword Coast. Perhaps another dimension. Where did that come from? While where did they go? This conversation, I want to be like cutting the, the ice cream up into little chunks. Very well. You cut it up into little chunks. I'm assuming, are you doing this evenly? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, you do it evenly. You get some nice slivers <laughs> there. You, you fucked up the quote. Well, what did I mess up? You. There's two quarters of oh, vanilla. No. Hold on, I'll fix it. I'll, I'll fix it in my bottom. <laughs> okay, I gotcha. Yeah, I'll, oh. uh, I'll, I'll cut all of this up. Whoa! <laughs> it cracks wow. under the brittle. It's very brittle, but it does crack. It does crack, but you do manage to get some even distributed portions. Excuse uh, me. I'm assuming you're well. getting three, uh, each flavor for each person, like you're going in like laterally. Yeah, like, well, maybe, maybe, like, you said it was only small, right? Yeah, it's about, like, yay big. All right, I'm going to wait for the stream to catch up. I don't I, know how yay big is. It's six okay, centimeters by six centimeters. So it's going to be split into uh, one, two, three, four. It's going to be split into five, then? You're not gonna offer any Faye? Well, yeah, that's five, right? Oh, wait, no, six. Thanks. It's gonna be split into six. Uh. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, hey, there Jocelyn, are two can of I have the, the pink brown. and white one. No, what? Well, there are two of the brown, and there's two of the white, and there's two of the pink. You, Everyone gets one. I take pink. Take pink? All right, what are the rest of y'all taking? I'll take brown. brown. There's only vanilla and chocolate left. I'll take it. I'll take the brown. All right, then Faye will take the left now. So as you uh, partake upon your feasting of this astronaut ice cream, feasting our little fast you find it melts in your mouth quite literally, almost as if real ice cream. It's creamy, Can... it's sweet. It tastes so flavorful, just like things you've had or maybe always dreamed of having. But yeah, it's not cold. But yet somehow it's oh, still. Oh, by the way, melts. I'm already done with the ice cream. Mm. You feel it just fill your mouth. It, it just you start salivating more and more, like you want more. However, there is no more. It is delicious, delectable, and divine. Can I let Hyacinth lick the chopping board? Yes, yes, you may. My ears are gonna like really perk up, and my tail, and I'm gonna start kind of purring a little bit, and I'll be like, "Where do I get more of this?" What? 
it down where all the food is stored in the hold some um, I don't well, maybe we could go and have another look down there. Would you uh, say Astrid uh, ice cream? Astro ice that's cream. what I think of. That's the wrong astronaut and ice cream pill. That's the rad one. So, are you all gonna search, no, try to search for some more here? One. Yeah, Apollo. Yes. Later, yes. Alright. I'm gonna carry on with cooking help. the actual food that we're supposed to be eating. Very well. So you carry on searching for things. I However, like y'all, your search is in vain, unfortunately. However, you do find something in all of y'all's pockets. I check my pocket. What you check your pocket. Phil, everyone up? but you finds something in their pockets. Correction. What? I have pockets. You everyone find it on who? your person somehow. <laughs> everyone but me? Yes, everyone but you, Phil. Uh, no. Bethany, you find yours. It's a small what piece of paper that says plus 20. Uh, Art, you find one that Ooh. says plus 10. Ray... Uh, Raygun, you find one that says plus 13. And Shark, you find one that says plus 10. Do they Try again to, dissipate? Yeah, yeah, after you read them, they turn to smoke and, di and, dis and disappear. Wait. <clears throat> well, I did not find a piece of paper. You did not. <laughs> you were asleep for the whole hey, of the session. Hey, Harry. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Hey, Harry, did you... Do you not have a piece of paper? No. <clears throat> well, we do think that it is linked to how much fun the the guy's getting. So maybe, maybe that's it. What did everybody get? I got, I got 10. nothing. Mine says plus ten. I said plus thirteen. And now it's done. 10 plus, what, 13? I, I don't have, yeah, I don't have 10 anything that I can find, so it must be something else. What did you get, Jocelyn? Jocelyn? I've forgotten already. <laughs> <laughs> I really should start writing this down, shouldn't I? Yeah, I think maybe you should show somebody else next time. Maybe. I forgot the last <laughs> number as well. Oh. Can, can okay. Hyacinth maybe like paw on the ground and let us know? My number I... was easy to remember. I don't think Hyacinth would have seen it. Hyacinth get a number. <laughs> Hyacinth did not get a number. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I five Hyacinth. Her and Harry on the same boat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so continuing on though, uh, you continue to cook your tomato meals for the next two days. You have a lot of tomatoes. It's uh, by the end of it, you're ready for something else besides tomatoes. By the time you arrive at car station, and it is that bad to spend for. <laughs> oh, but we can. It's good reaction. You do. Get, you do we can sell. We can sell some of your tomato plants. And I've been think... harvesting the seeds from the last tomatoes as well, the ones that we've used. Good lord. So. All right, well, <laughs> However yeah, many no. um, you get, as many seeds as you want, because you have a lot of them. <clears throat> so, I'd say like yeah. 200 seeds. Like our whole have would have literally seeds. be overgrown with tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, great. Can we cannibalize, <laughs> Harry said Asen. Well, anyway, so yeah, you arrive at the station, you see uh, the docking ports where it's a shipyard, like these big old slits for the ship. You also see, like, there's other, a couple other smaller ones around here and there as it orbits this planet. It's much larger as I described before. And yeah, what would you like to do? Dock the ship. All right, you know what time it is. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I, this time, as just before you're about to dock the ship, I would like to... <clears throat> Give uh, give Apollo a pat on the shoulder and be like, "We're gonna be gentle this time, aren't we?" And cast yeah. guidance on Apollo. <laughs> All right. So go ahead and make a vehicle handling check with guidance. So you get to roll a d4. Oh, that's nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah, you finally gain a feel for the ship. You now. Steer it pretty smoothly in, and you manage to dock it in. 
So you see this large room. There are six canals kind of things. Uh, that where these ships are. Three of them are filled, three of them are empty. You see a larger building in the middle, kind of like a bunch of small wooden houses that kind of pile up, um, kind of almost making like a tower in the middle. Kind of some barn doors there and such. It looks a bit out of place on the metal brass floor that lines the entire place. The rest of the, place, the, rest of the structure is entirely made of metal. It's very tall, maybe about 60 feet, 80 feet tall, about 20 feet uh, past your mast, I would say. There is a door on the left wall and right wall that appears to lead to other corridors. As it's a circle, it looks like it's split into fours. So you have like, this is like one quarter, there's another quarter, another, and another. Yeah, you see people walking to and fro. Hey there are cranes at each little docking place. Great question. Uh, but there are cranes None. at each one. Crates, barrels, people going to and fro doing repairs, as well as parts of ships and such all around here. This appears to be definitely the shipyard slash workshop slash upgrades. Before we disembark. Uh, we as a group go to the no upgrade? disappearing this time, Yato. I'm gonna get yeah, yeah, the fresh tomatoes that I still I'm have. I'm a collector maniac. And try to find a farmer's market to sell them at. All right. So yeah. as you as you disembark, you see a ma uh, a man greet you wielding a clipboard. He is a half elven man. Stands there. Ah, welcome aboard to Car Station. Captain, the name of the ship. Hello, sir. Hello. Oh, Captain. Yes, who is the captain and what is the name of your ship? There, there you with the uh, half elf arrogance about it. So, Captain's name is Apollo. And he's an appalling captain. Ship name Apollo 11. Uh, oh, the ship gosh. name is. They're not sure. But not sure. Interesting. How long are you staying, and what are you here for? To upgrade. Look, upgrade. Very well. Speak to the shipmaster Garrick. Sorry, Garen. Huh. People these days, I can't remember all these names of these mortals. Anyway, shipmaster Garen is right there in that building. He points to the left side of the kind of massive building. Talk to him. He will see you about ship upgrades and such. If you need anything else, he will direct you. Otherwise, if you need a food accompaniment and or anything else. The commercial. The commercial slash residential district is to my right. He points over, which is to the left of the ship. Anything else I ask you, please behave yourself. Do not start fights. Do not draw <laughs> weapons. Or you will be promptly and justly kicked in the pants. Now, I mean that literally. Before um, the guy leaves, I'm gonna... Uh, I, I would like to have a bag also of tomatoes that, you know, because we're gonna... Saddle bags on Hyacinth because we're gonna go and sell them. Um, right. I'd like to grab a tomato for him and hand it over and be like, "Oh, that's so kind!" and like hand him a tomato. <laughs> he he takes it and kind of looks at it. Thank you. You see him just kind of so hold it like in front of him, not like he doesn't bring it close, almost like it's kind of like gross to him. Do you know where we could find any upgrades? He's already pointed. I just told oh. you. Sorry. He points to the building and right, right there. Go speak to Gary. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I have things to do. Uh, remember what I said and so on. He walks away. Thanks for the warm welcome. Yeah, he pays no heed to your to your words and continues to walk. All right, so where y'all going? Rude! Okay, no. <laughs> to see He's an elf. Elves are usually pretty arrogant. <laughs> you know, living for a thousand Do years I, like, or so will do that. start walking away slowly? I mean, you can certainly yeah. try. I, I think they all are keeping a pretty close eye on you. Five point tiers. Which direction was it to, like, the farmer's market? Pointed and to the left of the ship. Alright, so... I, I would like to the go right and tomatoes and seeds with me. We should just all go everywhere together. It will make life a lot easier. Very well. Alright. Okay. I was thinking two by two, but... Okay. Alright, let's see. How many bags of tomatoes do you have? Let's see. All of them. Roll, uh, roll 2d4. Because you, you had time to grow over a couple days. 
So roll 2d4, and that's how many bags you will have. It should be like five or something. Five. Ace and don't get wow. ideas. Called it. All right. So yeah, you have five bags of tomatoes. Each one holds about 70 tomatoes, you could say. And then we'll say you have... Oh, oh. I would have you have a lot around. four small pouches of seeds. Get. Each one contains about 100 seeds. So about 400 seeds. I'm going to fully get them around. Very well. All right, so Phil follows Yaro. Don't Harry. I'm trying to go rob someone. Do you say this out loud? Yeah, it's too late. No, I, I, just, it. I just say... No, no, it's too late. You've away, already Harry. said it. <laughs> You, 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 see, you see one of the guys, like, hauling things. He stops for a moment and just looks at you. It's just like, bro. And he just continues walking by. Nice, yeah. Don't worry, it's not you. Don't worry, it's not you, sir. Don't worry, I'll tell the sheriff for you. <laughs> oh. Free, you're yeah. in charge of Yato. Yeah. Oh, no. He's doing a very bad I'm job, man. Hey Harry. Whatever it is he's doing. Hey, hey Harry, you wanna go rob someone? I say oh, quietly. Could you please keep an eye on, mm. on Yako specifically? Yeah. Harry will can we get Harry? Yeah. yeah, we can split the shares. We we can go rob someone else. It'll be really funny, you know. Uh yep, boy. Is it that you were <laughs> saying Ada? I was asking Apollo if he could keep an eye, a close eye on Yato. Don't worry, guys. I got, I got, I got this. He can I'm throw Yato over his shoulder and make sure they don't run off if necessary. Look, I should where we were all gonna <laughs> stay together. Yes. Because we are all together. Don't you start running off now? I don't want to be here. Come on. Well, then let's leave and... Why do you travel with us? You asked us for your I want to go right explore now. this place, and I want to go have a look at things. What? In can due we... time, Yato. I can won't do time. Can we not do the important things first? You know, it's like it's, let's What's go important? get some upgrades first. Ah, uh, fine. Uh, next, how, how many seeds of, uh, how many bags of seeds do they have? Yeah, about 400, uh, four bags of seeds, so about, total about 400 seeds. Okay. Alright, so, seeds. let's go through, Bam. so you're gonna head to the commercial <laughs> district. As you go through these doors, you will enter this long hallway. There's another door just across that says residential commercial. It's like, door, door. And then you see a long hall hallway going much further down, maybe, maybe about a good sound of Residential commercial? So, My you open those doors. You see this, like, sprawling town, kind of in the same size room as the shipyard. Uh, however, there's buildings, some larger, some smaller. There you see, like, a bazaar set with tents and markets and stalls and various other things. And, like, an open kind of courtyard as well with a fountain. Okay. Yeah. That's what you see. I would like to check out the fountain. Oh, you see a fountain? It's made out of some sort of stone. <laughs> And there is water flowing through it via some form of plumbing or magical means. You do not know. And it's a fountain. Hoggers. But you do, and Ada, you uh, see a little I spot you can set up. I see a what? Uh, Ada sees a spot she can set up and sell tomatoes. Ah. Alright. Let's go set up and get these bags sold. See if maybe if somebody wants to barter other food. We can trade some of these bags for that. And sell some of these bags of seeds. Packets of seeds. Everybody came with uh, that? Uh, yeah. Like yes. I'd, to... I'd also like to have a look for anywhere where I can sell an assortment of engine parts. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe... I'm curious what engine parts you've got because, like, you can only carry so much. I mean, I got this shiny thing, and I got this shiny thing, and I got this silver thing, and I got this, uh, less shiny thing. Very few doodads and such, as well, yeah, just very few doodads. You don't know what they are, they just look cool. 
I'm a kleptomaniac, what can I say? That's fair. That is in his nature. Yep. <clears throat> no, I know. I'm just curious as to what he's got, as to whether any of it could be useful for, like, our ship. Who knows? Yeah, like, if he has ship. any, like, <laughs> specifics. Uh, I mean, if you are fa were familiar with her, or perhaps if you were an artificer, you would know. Unfortunately, uh, no yeah. one is, uh, is well-versed in technology here. Well, so, we're gonna go and see Garen first, right? Garen's the guy at the should... shipyard for the upgrades. To look about the upgrades. Yeah. Ah, tomatoes. I thought we were selling, yeah, selling tomatoes, then we can also go buy some more upgrades. Alright. Well, we'll do Ooh, tomatoes gonna... first. So how much are you trying to sell these tomatoes for? That is a really good question. Yeah. Are there any other shops around that sell tomatoes? Uh, tomatoes specifically, no. You see a couple things that sell various foods, some veggies, a couple meats here and there, but those look a little more pricey. Uh, as well as just other general goods, like that, such, such, yeah, such as textiles and such. It's like a small, like a, like a, small, actually, I would say a large town, like a back kind shop. Okay. So, maybe, no uh, do I only personally have the five tomato bags, or did, uh, didn't I've Jocelyn got two. Two? So I've got maybe you could use Jocelyn's to barter for some other fruits and veggies or something like that. And we could, yeah. uh, sell could... the five that I have for, like, you know, what do you think, 70, 50, 50? Gold a piece? Is that a lot? That's a lot. So, I mean, just for could... reference, uh, one gold is the equivalent of 20 UFD. Okay, so yeah, definitely not that much. <laughs> we Wait. could go and well, see I'll... how much yeah. the it's... veggies and stuff in the actual, and fruits in the actual vegetable shop is, yeah. and you could do a comparison. Sounds good. So, you, so when you do that, you'll see that he's selling various veggies. Uh, depending on the types, ranging from two copper to one silver piece. Uh, repeat that, please. So the various veggies that are they're ranging from, depending on the type and size and such, they range from two copper to one silver a piece. A piece. A piece. So maybe we do one silver a piece. So seventy silver for a bag. Sound fair? All right. It's completely up to you. Mm -hmm. So we'll do that then. Very 70 well. cents per bag. All right. So, um, I'm a. So we'll assume. So we'll assume I might need a. What is it? For a persuasion check from whoever is selling the potatoes and bartering. So two persuasion checks for whatever you're bartering with, and for what exactly you want. Oh, no, that's a six. So not a lot of folks will buy it. Many people will try to haggle you down to about five <laughs> copper a piece. For like, first man, so about, uh, instead of one silver a piece, which would be 70 silver a bag, about half that price. So about 35. Look, these are, these are beautiful, perfect, amazing tomatoes. I made them with my own paws. Come on, guys. They're magic tomatoes. They're magic tomatoes. <laughs> I don't know that I would tell Technically. Them. Technically. Um, are you trying to sell all of all of these to one person? So this I is mean, to I various know. people. You will sell some at full price, but a lot of them are going to try to haggle you down there. I can sell them per, you know, per tomato. Um... Can I just stand there and guidance her every time? Yes. You are also a charisma person if you would like to make a persuasion check to offer pitching it. Yeah, go for it. That is enough. Charisma! <laughs> I rolled a one. Wow. <laughs> you're, just as you're just as bad as Ada <laughs> of trying to persuade people. But at the end of the day, you know what? After various persuasion stuff, you managed to sell 75% 75 of what you have at, let's say, yeah, 75% <laughs> of what you have. 
So, 75% of, let's say you have five bags, 70 each. We sold 262 and a half tomatoes then. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so you get that amount, and we'll say so, like several people probably haggled you down a little bit, so you get about 240 silver. Which is still a fair bit, but we're 24 gold equivalent to. You cut out. So 240 silver is how much you get, or about 24 gold equivalent. Hey, that's pretty good. Not bad. What about the what about the actual plants and seeds? Yeah, what about the seeds? I don't know how much to sell those for. Because you were selling some of the actual plants as well, right? Because uh, we had like a... fifty plants. Oh, uh, did we have fifty plants? I knew we yeah. had. Yeah. You were successful. Yeah. yeah. Fifty plants. You said you had like fifty plants growing. We don't need that many so much. A lot of plants, <laughs> like Zippy and the chickens. So maybe can I do do can I sell one of those for like I don't know like how how many silver equal a, a gold? Uh, ten. Hmm? What was it? Ten. How many? Ten. Mm-hmm. Okay, so maybe one gold a piece for like mature tomato plants. Yeah, that's, that's it. Seems real. Go ahead and roll a persuasion check. Let's see how you do. I didn't. Guidance. Oh, yeah, D four. That's fifteen. Fifteen. Hey, better than before. Let's see. All right. So you only you managed to sell about. Uh, about a little more than 50% of them. So you're selling how many of them? Of the plants? We have 50. So 50. we need, what, maybe 20? Yeah. So we could yeah, sell, sell like 30 of them? 30. Uh, yeah, so you managed to sell 17 uh, for a gold apiece. So you get 17 GP out of that. Oh. And the And then last but not least, defeat. Guidance. <laughs> um, probably do like. Oh, you know what I could totally do. I could, I could play my loot. I forgot about my loot. I could totally play the loot and be like. Bark inspiration. Come, little children, buy my tomatoes. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still waiting for sea shanties, by the way. Them with a pause. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. And I mean, you all. are welcome to try to attract a crowd with that. The roll performance. Yeah, I'll, I shall do that. I'm going to do good. that. Yeah, uh, performance. Put extra, put extra tomatoes uh, in I, That was the, beautifully the average. That we didn't sell. <laughs> 10. Uh, 12. 12. All right, 12. You get a couple of people come li listen to you, too. All right, does you know, that, in fact, does that help us with the tomatoes? Yeah, some people are interested, but you also get seven silver for performing. And yeah, so I now see. yeah, make your persuasion check with the guidance. So sixteen. So sixteen, you managed to sell about sixty percent of these, uh, of the seeds. Uh, how much are you selling these for? They're in, they're in like little pouches. Each one has roughly a hundred seeds. Like five silver a piece. Yeah, so per you'll sell not per, per seed, but per packet. Yeah, so you'll sell three of those, three of your four then, and you'll get fifteen silver for it. Nice. While this is all happening, could I like? stealth off for like two oh. hours i want to go explore i want to go just apollo somewhere. go with him <laughs> you appear like, to have an escort i'm just looking at you and not looking anywhere else i mean you can try to run away although i don't feel good about your chances against the monk you said there were buildings right yes like houses how tall is the house again? Oh, so it varies. It's like a small, like, it's like a large town, essentially, that's just built in this big group. 
Could I make a dash for the lowest uh, roof and like jump from roof to roof to get away from Apollo? If you want, you could try. Your action may have consequences. Yes. Hey, next. Yes. Can I use a key point to use Step of the Wind mm -hmm. with my new ability of Wings Unfurled and have some wings and fly? Yeah. Okay. Wait a second. What? <laughs> fly? Send a dragon. I can fly, son. So as ah, you jump shit. up there, you see Apollo's just flying behind you. He can't actually run faster than you. I can probably fly faster than you can run. <laughs> I'm like a dragon, I saw. Uh, I start changing elevation, like going down and going through like under a bridge. Well, is there, there are no bridges. <laughs> oh, you you are uh, it's I, a metal I just floor. change elevation. I like go down and up and down and up. Make an acrobatics check. Uh, <laughs> 20. 20. You and your expertise. All right. So, yeah, you don't yeah, you don't manage seven. to fall it's off. It's very good. It is very good. So you roll 13. So, you continue on. You uh, jump from roof to roof. You manage not to fall down. If you attempt to live in, however, you're not going to lose someone who's flying and can fly faster than you. Uh, I'm still having fun. I keep on doing the same thing. He's just over having and over a good again. time. All right, so you're just going to play rig around the road for a bit. Uh, the rest of y'all, yes. so after you are done selling, what are you doing? Are you making your way again? <laughs> yeah. I feel like we should probably wait for the guys to get back. Oh, you see them. But... They're hopping and flying across the roofs and such. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, look, they've lost it again. <laughs> <laughs> Big, big sigh from Jocelyn, because this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Because now we have to wait for them to stop being, we have to wait for Yato to stop being an idiot to come back so That's we can gonna continue happen. on with our day. You should have just let me go for around two hours. I would have just explored the place. Maybe stolen something. Oh, not maybe. <laughs> also, could have also had a nice rational conversation with us and said, hey, while we're here selling tomatoes, perhaps we could go and speak to the to the dude. I with just want Apollo. Next, is there like an is there like a nice field around here somewhere? You are in a space station. <laughs> but you said there is like Big metal room Farms with houses. Not in this area, no. Oh. This is residential. It, could I, like, go for the non-residential area where there would be, like, nice fields? So I'll describe it a little bit better. So it's essentially, I think this big, massive room, like a warehouse. And there's this house that's built there, but this warehouse is massive. And there's walls on each yeah. side. The doors you came through, like, separate each area, and they're double doors. How high is the ceiling of the warehouse? Uh, it's about, so, about 100 feet or so, because it's 20 feet taller than the mast. Hmm. Could I, could I, like, uh, as soon as I change elevation down, go into a shop and hide in there? Probably, uh, he will probably see you. While it's a large town, it's uh, not a bustling city, so... It's, not like people are constantly moving to and from inside and outside buildings. Hmm. I imagine there's a freak mm. out seeing a dragon flying through the city. Some people, oh. yes. <laughs> like I said, there may be consequences to this action, which you will find out next week. Because it is wrapping up point. <laughs> uh, I'd like to backflip down onto the ground floor before we end off. Thunk. All right. Go ahead and make an acrobatics check. Face plan. Oh. Uh, that would be a 16. 16. So, this was uh, rather hard, DC. DC was 17. So, as you fall, you try to backflip up as he's uh, chasing you from roof to roof. And you're very dexterous. You land on your feet. Or so you thought, as you notice that you slip on the ground. As it, the metal floor is not very grippy. Or at least you're not used to it. You're used to the wood of your ship and such. And normal floor. And you slip... <laughs> And fall on your face. 
Calling Pearl. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Call <Ooh>. us. <laughs> yep, Apollo saw everything. <laughs> Judge him. Judge him. But Judge him. that is what we're going to have to end tonight's session, folks. Hopefully you enjoy. Tomatoes were grown. Food was eaten. Leviathan was seen and ran away from. Or tactically withdrawn from. And you made it to another station as you <laughs> grow, grow closer to the edge of the floor. Next week you'll have to meet Garen, find out the ship upgrades, and perhaps meet some interesting characters. We will Can have I have to a No, not yet. You level, uh, so level ups are between each floor. Every floor is a milestone, and that's when you level up. Uh, we're milestoning, okay. Yes. Because the XP is complicated, Yay. and yeah. Well, also, it's just easier this way. We're using Foundry. Yeah. Right? But anyway, that's what all I got today, folks. Hopefully, you enjoyed this session. We'll be next week for the oh. exciting adventure and perhaps the On this episode of Tomato of Wars. Floor. That's all I got for you. We're getting closer to the end. Um, next week, hopefully, we should be at, at, out of this floor. And you'll be on to the third floor, which is going to be Yay. exciting. All right, so we are going to go ahead. We are going to go pop a raid. I have things I have to get to, unfortunately, but we are still going to pop a raid. So we're going to go raid that family games because they're a family that games, and it's a retro combo player with Paul and Jay tonight. It's a wonderful time. So hope you come and stick around for that. I think you all know family, that family games. I've just thought about them quite a bit, but they're an amazing family. They games here on Twitch. They do retro games with them their, and their son, uh, the husband, the wife, and the son, and they're just a great time to hang out. You will not be bored. You will be entertained, and you will just have a wonderful time. So please stick around for the raid. Anyway, folks, we, I have been the next game 100, and everyone else has been introduced. And you may introduce yourself Utah, or is. outro yourself here. Would it be outroduce yourself? Outro we're going outroduce out. yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's who I everyone was else. I Yato, the level six uh, halfling stout master rogue. Was. Was. Now I'm just art now. <laughs> and he was Yato as well. And so was Yato. Tomato farming and druid says thank you for listening. The dragonborn monk Apollo had fun flying. <laughs> I'm just Harry. <laughs> and last but not least, old lady is sick of Yato shit, but <laughs> see you next <laughs> Indeed, indeed. But that's been that's been for us, folks. Hope you have the a more great you night. We'll me, the, more the next time. <laughs> oh, mother. Good lord. Mm, always an adventure, is it not? But welcome to D and <laughs> I, I like this party composition. It's enough conflict to make it good. And there we've raided. Pulls up for three. No. Does it get? Yeah. I just had to call something. It. Give me back. You you and Phil are just chaos oh, monsters. No, I want. No. Well, yes. we got a raid coming in. It's the next That's guy. why I'm chaotic neutral. Oh, uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. I felt good. Yes, uh, I felt good Dude, last week. Now I feel raid, like I want to cause something. Cause some just, mayhem. Just to wait till you see these other floors. Man. Oh my. Hello. What was the uh, gold we earned from that it's cargo small. ship? I forgot. Uh, yeah, 150. I have no idea. It's a VR thing. 150. But Raiders, welcome on in. We I think are you got that family game. I'm Paul. And next guy, how is it? She got mine and yours. 